Hi, in this short presentation, we will give you a brief overview of gender and intersexuality. For many decades, gender has been defined as this, the male or female division of a species, especially as differentiated by social and cultural roles and behavior. This definition is actually challenged by the idea of feminism. Gender is how one person feels and identifies oneself with. And this is influenced by many factors, including social impacts, environmental impacts, cultures, religions, economic status, education, and so on. Therefore, the idea of a static binary gender of female and male does not make sense. Gender, in fact, is fluid. It's a spectrum. There can be different types of woman and man, such as female-born, male-born, lesbian, gay, heterosexual, transsexual, transgender, and so on. A person's gender identity can be changed with time. To make it clear, gender is different from sex, genital appearance, and biological sex chromosomes. So you may wonder, what is intersex? Intersex is a general term used for a variety of conditions in which a person is born with a reproductive or sexual anatomy that doesn't seem to fit the typical definitions of male or male. Female, excuse me. As it is being said, intersex is not a gender identity. Intersex people can later identify themselves as men, women, a third gender, or neither. It is important to let them decide their own gender identity. It is also very important to realize that intersex is not a disease, it's just a difference. You may think intersex cases are rare, it is certainly not so. According to statistics, the case where a child is born with a so noticeable sex differentiation is 1 in 1,500 to 1 in 2,000 births. So there are as much as 3 million intersex people living in this world of male and female. Your children are not alone. Now, we would like to tell you a little bit about how doctors and physicians encounter an intersex person, how intersex people are treated in this society, and how you can be more supportive with your child. When your child is born with an intersex condition, your first thought may be to turn to your doctor. If so, it is important to go into this encounter with some knowledge about medical intervention. Currently, the most popular choice by physicians is surgical intervention. The idea of surgical intervention was made popular by the gender theory of John Money. He believed that gender was a completely socialized phenomenon. With this theory in mind, many doctors today will recommend that you identify the true sex of your infant and perform any necessary medical treatments as soon as possible. These medical treatments can include anything from hormonal therapy, such as a testosterone treatment, to surgical intervention. The latter is a more drastic and permanent form of treatment and therefore requires much more precision when choosing a sex for the patient. Doctors and parents should not make this decision lightly. There are a number of ways in which to determine the sex of the child. If your child is born with ambiguous genitalia, that is a good place to start. If the penis is very small or if the clitoris is very large, often doctors will perform tests to determine if the child has internal sex organs that identify with either sex. From there, doctors may perform chromosomal tests to determine the sex, and if a child has a Y chromosome, this information will be used in tandem with the other information gathered. After performing all of these tests, a doctor will suggest his or her professional opinion on the medical strategy to be used. Whether or not they recommend surgical intervention, it's important to remember, remember that the choice for now is yours. These doctors can provide you with evidence with which to make an informed decision. What's important to remember is that whatever choice you make, it's, it's your choice for you and your child to live with forever. Don't allow anyone to pressure you into a course of action that you are uncomfortable with. As a parent, it is difficult to understand how your child feels on a day-to-day -day basis. We hope to give you a better understanding of what an intersex individual deals with daily so you have a better idea of the situation they are going through. Society places a strong emphasis on the decision between male and female, which is what makes things so hard for people who are not born with a specific gender. This is shown through the segregation of sports, different bathrooms, and male-female checkboxes present in paperwork. In many situations, it is deemed unacceptable to fall into a gray area when it comes to gender determination, for example, entering a public bathroom. Intersex children and adults are made to feel like outsiders or are considered different, all because they don't easily fall into a specific category. Something as simple as walking into a bathroom may make them feel extremely uncomfortable and judged. 
While there are surgeries and procedures available to change the intersex condition, many individuals who have undergone these treatments feel upset about their parents' decision, a decision made for them instead of with them. They feel as though something that was an important part of them was taken and wish that they could live the life they were born with. This is why we encourage parents of intersex children to allow the children to grow up and make those decisions for themselves. The important role parents play is making your child feel comfortable in their own skin and allowing them to grow up and make those decisions for themselves. The important role of parents is, for allow, is to help them allow to be who they want. Imagine if you were not accepted by your peers due to a condition you were born with, something you had no control over. That is how your child may feel every day. Yes, it's a long road and it's up to you as parents to reassure your children that they have the ability to be who they want to be and not feel ashamed by it. In closing, I'd like to point parents in the right direction towards helping their kids. Ultimately, strong, healthy relationships with your children are what helps them grow up best. Support, love, and understanding are huge parts in maintaining a good relationship with your child. No matter the decision you make, whether you choose to move forward without surgery or not, it is important to be supportive in everything for your child. As Train wrote for our introduction, gender is how one person feels and identifies themselves. And this is influenced by many factors, including social impacts, environmental impacts, cultures, religions, economic status, education, and so on. Your child will grow up and know what gender they want to be, the gender they feel fits just right. Being born intersex is not a disease, it is a difference. With all the options I mentioned earlier, you may think that being born intersex is solvable, a problem that can be fixed. It's not that easy, nor is it a problem. The struggles that your child may endure are much tougher when the decision is made for them. As we can learn from the personal stories of many intersex individuals, it is the difference between being happy with yourself, content with your body and your own decision, or being absolutely miserable and confused, even tormented.